Hello, this is TLV with a completely new series, an online server play, SMP. And I will be playing, this is FTB, Mindcrack, uh, which is a mod pack for FTB. And I'm running Minecraft 1.4.6 at the moment, and this server is called Voice to the Void. Uh, <clears throat> it's an open server at the moment, absolutely no griefing allowed, of course resulting in a perm ban. And this is a quite established server, and this is... I want to make a home on this server, make a new home. And make our first stand, so to speak. See where it takes us, make make a new adventure here. And this, it should be possible for you bros to visit me here, uh, and say hello, and see what's going on. And here we're, on this server we'll try to make some really cool and nifty machines, and build smart machines of course machines that don't lag Me, always when you play online you want to make sure you make builds that don't lag the server so it could be a challenge sometimes <laughs> and the build might need to be more complex for it to not lag or, and such and i have nowhere i'm at now i think i'm at the spawn here you can see i've got the tools and pie i just went in here Starter kit. <laughs> I stood on this pressure plate a few times. You spammed me with stuff as well as a pie here. I can get some more pie just to show up. So now I have quite a lot of stacks of pie. Oh, another. Are you okay? I see you fell into, uh, into a starfisher too, unfortunately. It was a trap. We're stuck here. But we can rebuild. We have tried to venture back. But it's useless, but I'm sure with your skills and those who have come before, we can grow and return to the greatness we once knew. So I guess I pass through this passage here, and the adventure begins. So I have nothing right now, right? So first, <laughs> I think someone is griefing here. Nukes <laughs> over there. Uh, we'll first try to see if we can get a guided tour, where I should go, where I should make my first start and etc I have no idea about anything on this server at the moment so I'll be back once I find a friendly soul to guide me around a little be right back takes about um, mm. six all right so adventures. this is the starters position right oh god are you having a race or something No, I'm showing them around. I'm gonna. It, once I get to my house, Stormcraft will be complete. Do, do, do you, you use like special ages and stuff as well? Yes. Yep. Ages are only permitted to people who donate and people who are the admins to create. Oh, I see. is able to use the ages that are private have a high risk to be banned unless you are allowed in i.e. the world I'm in is if you're in it and you're not allowed to be you are banned almost instantly because the people who live here are very paranoid <laughs> and when I say very like paranoid I, I mean I'm probably the most paranoid out of them and I've built maybe ten thousand blocks away from anyone else. What if we do? What if you? Like, yeah, that's the... <laughs> slaughtered. Didn't know you brought them in. So do you have like them. one main world for non-donators and a minor world no. for miners? No, oh whole, no, uh, whole bunch he, of worlds. he recreate. He changes the worlds every week on Tuesday. So if you have a age from last week we'll say no one else has it it's pretty much your donor world type thing okay it's okay, so. just a matter of you being lucky and have no one else having it all right that seems quite complicated <laughs> it, it's simpler than you think he creates a he generates certain worlds he does take suggestions but he always has a minor world a void world 
and some funny, ridiculous world, and then I believe he always has a trees world as well, just different stuff. But, um, he always keeps the worlds alive. I'm hoping he starts deleting some of the worlds, because currently he has... He has a age where he's made it pretty much a nexus of all the books. He currently has, I think, a six-wide tunnel going 500 blocks long to hold all his books that he's made. All right, that seems okay. uh, quite ridiculous. I, I've got a question for anyone. Yes. Has anyone got 31... Uh, 32 stacks of iron spare. If I could get there, I'd probably have that and twice that. If not, I'd just let you in my little ridiculous world. Yes. But there's the problem. I can't find my world. So where should I go in like in the beginning to make my first base sort of chrome? Do are what you, you want. The, are you doing the um tour chrome? Yep. Yeah, I think that you should um go into a different room so you can actually talk to him and do it. Alrighty, I'll drag him to a room. Okay. I do Thanks. recommend this. Get diamonds as fast as you can and then make a all the tech it type stuff if you were moved user joined your channel <laughs> alrighty that was a nice timing just when I was talking to that guy <laughs> yeah I, I know what he was talking about um but you're an apprentice so you can use the help tell list seed all these commands here on this left side okay okay and then you have to do the uh, you have to join a guild pretty much which all the guilds are over here in these doors and they have missions and stuff like uh here here's one that i'm pretty far in right now this one right here so if you come in here upstairs it tells you the requirements for the ranks and stuff uh -huh. so to become uh the guild pretty much you just have to breathe which it's kind of just a joke thing and then the first rank is mechanist which you need to build an industrial centrifuge to be all right which I've already done that. Um, and then if you go into all the rooms and guilds and whatnot, you can kind of see the different ranks and stuff. And each rank gives you different commands, and you can hear. Like, if you ever become a steam captain, then you get access to the guild hall of that guild that you're in. But the guild is not related to, to where people live, right? Um, it's related to what they kind of do most of so i'm a tech just a tech scientist kind of person okay and uh ronnie ronnie is our tech maid pretty much because he does all the magic and stuff along with the science i haven't really jumped at thumbcraft yet but i'm planning on to eventually and if you come down here there's the uh ages i see and over here is where the featured ages are so the, these ages are all kind of weird, but this one here is always going to be the mining age. Okay, very reassuring this that they are all here. weird. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They're not named after what they're they are, which they should be. What but about this planet, on, Bob? Um, it is. This is where he was trying to get villages, I believe. Oh, okay. But yeah, if you right-click the books, you can kind of see what's in them. Um, all these ones were taken down, I believe, yep. Uh, behind these stairs here... Seems like a pretty standard age there. Yeah, behind the stairs here, there's uh, the Twilight Forest, the Nether. And if you follow me, I'll show you where the end is. I'm tagging along. I'm trying not to like super sprint or anything with my armor. No, it's my fine. It's fine. I'm I'm grateful that you're showing me all this. 
Yeah, if you want, you can even come over to my base that I've got, and you can uh, use my materials to start out and stuff, because I've been sharing them with pretty much everyone. But, but this main world here never changes, right? This main world never changes, no. And I've got some private ages that I can share with you as well. I've got a private mining age. Um, if you're coming down these stairs, it's just there's a portal at the end. Well, I guess I guess I got some lag there. Ah, uh, yeah, it, it has a bit of lag issues, but you kind of just stick with it. And I recommend jumping into the portal right now, but the portal's down there. Okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna keep my house, and I'll, I'll summon you there. Sure, that sounds good. So your houses are like spread all over the normal world, or do you make houses in your ages as well? I've made uh, worlds in my age. I've got homes pretty much everywhere, almost. Okay, <laughs> okay. You played too much then. <laughs> okay, I'll accept uh, this. As, yeah, as soon as you get to my house, you'll see that I've played a lot. Sapping here. You kind of have to look this way to read what these are, but these are all my books. So, like, the server admin, he's fine with all these edges. I mean, it would be a lot of files on the um, server, right? Only these... Only these gold books are ages. The other ones just teleport to places. Ah, they're okay. They're just shortcuts. Yeah, and then my sorting system's down here with all my resources. Nice. You use the barrels, I see. <laughs> I love barrels. <laughs> and my overflow chests, because I filled the one. I have a shit ton of few matter, as you can see in this gold diamond one. Yeah. Uh, if you come upstairs, I'll unlock my books for you, because they're all pretty much locked. I see, I don't have permission. Now I have. Oh. So, right, whereas we were like, minus 1,000 plus 3,000. Yeah, we're near Lazy's B School. I've got a book to okay. it, but it's literally like maybe a hundred meters that way. So there are some if people living in this area? Uh, no, it's Lazy's Bee School. There's uh, She teaches people about the forestry bees. Ah, if okay. you jump into my mining age, I'll let you check that out. There's so many names here. Yeah, you have to kind of look at it sideways to get the right one. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> um, but I've got my tree farm here. I've got my advanced solar panels with, or their hybrid solar panels, but they are running my quarries. Ooh, never seen this one before. It's a Greg Tech solar panel. It's really annoying to make, but well worth it. Like, as you can see, this one solar panel is running these four engines nonstop. And it's surplus. I see. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Um... I'll get you a pair of long fall boots because falling into here can kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm wearing long fall boots and a jetpack. <laughs> and on this side is my sugar farm, which I've been trying to expand, but I'm out of sand now. So you made an age just for all this, just for these this machines and stuff. This is kind of my resource, this is my resource gathering age, pretty much. Uh, I, I had four stacks of reeds given to me, so I didn't really need to farm them till now, because I started oh, okay. running low. Mm, I see. So I've just started this reed farm, and I don't know if this book's locked, can you use this? Yep, it works. Alrighty. Yeah, you can come back to my house here. Uh, my current build that I'm working on is this void base book. It's my new age that I've made. It's a void age. And it's literally just... Uh, I use just Psycraft blocks started. here? 
What? You use the uh, yeah, Psycraft tiles box. for the floor? Yeah, just because they don't smobs on them. Oh and yeah, that's the benefit one, of them. Yeah, this red is going to be my red power area where I have m most of my red power items based off. The green one's going to be my industrial craft, which if you come in here, I've cut my... Uh, so this is like your future base, where you're going to have everything or something. This is my end base goal. Okay. And I just got 52 UU matter from both of those. Uh, this back one is going to be kind of my storage slash sorting one. And then this okay. blue one's going to be my thermal expansion, other mod kind of tech things, or my Thumbcraft. I haven't decided yet. Mm, Thumbcraft is funny, and it should be more fun when there is more stuff added to it. <laughs> yeah, and then these stairs down here just lead you to the bottom where I'm going to set up all my force field stuff. To just because one of the guild rank things require you to connect your base with the force field. And I thought it'd look cool. Yeah, and it's good for griefing and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I could put a security system on so that if certain people get into this world, they get killed, like, instantly, too. Yeah. <laughs> and it can confiscate items from people. But the so, base like, where you had yeah, all the materials before, that was in the overworld, right? Yeah, it's this overworld book. I didn't rename this back to my base. Uh, this overworld house is my main, pretty much, base for now. So I'll just, I guess I'll just I was gonna... go out to your front door and just find a place to live. Just search the landscape and whatever, right? Um, or you could, like, jump into one of my ages here and build there. Like, my homelands one was really good. And none of my aid have... I'm not allowed to use anything, it. So you won't get... Oh, it says that? The other one seems fine, though. There. Ah, now it's good. You have a book back if I teleport there? Yes. So these uh, words, like worlds that you have here, these ages, they for sure won't be deleted or anything by the by the server or something like no, that. No, these worlds are here to stay forever because I've donated to have them. Oh, I see. Okay. And I'm a regular user, like I'm on all the time, so they're not considered dead ages. All right. Okay. And over here, I've got my blast furnace and stuff. I have no idea where you are. There you are. I was going to build a massive factory here, but I ran out of ambition to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And here's my centrifuge. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've used many times, I just grab my engines and hook them up to the ultimate hybrid solar panel and run it for a bit to get my uh, silicon panels for my solar panels. Mm -hmm. To build more solar panels, that's pretty much all I use that for. Ah, okay. But I'm gonna jump, if you wait here, I'm gonna jump to my house and grab you some armor and stuff. Oh, that's very kind of you, sir. <laughs> I have excess armor. I have an excess of three uh, nano chest plates for some reason. Uh, by the way, does lead spa spawn in the overworld, or do I have to be in an age to get lead? Um. You can do all your mining in my mining age. My mining age has every ore that'll ever be. Okay. I guess I'll probably make my first house in the overworld as well. So your ages are... But I guess... Mm, okay, you donated, you said. So they will never be deleted. Even though they would be, would be considered dead ages. If you don't use an age for a long time, for example. But it won't oh, be deleted anyway. Oh, you use them all. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I've got machines set up in all of them, pretty much. And, uh, diamonds are very easy to come across in, uh, the spawns, um, mining age. 
Okay. Literally, I went mining with my drill and my fortune pick, and I came back with like 12 stacks of diamond. Lol. <laughs> There's some basic armor for you. That's a nano suit, though. That takes a long time for if you just start out to make. <laughs> yeah, I know. Got a lot of them, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, Steve got some clothes on. <laughs> Nice man, thanks a lot. Yeah. How come you're not using anything though? What are Me. you wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing my man skin. <laughs> yeah, very nice. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, that's it basically, right? Yeah, if you come back to my overworld house, uh, you can do slash set home and then name it. So like chrome or something and you can teleport here using the home command. How many homes can I set then with the set home command? You can set up to three homes on this server. And and when I've set more than three homes, does it like replace the first one or something? No. If you name them different, like I set my homes. I ah, you just have to delete it. Space one. And then I did slash set home space two and slash set home space three. And then to go to the specific homes you have to do slash home space whatever the name of the home is and it's possible to delete the home position to add a new yeah, one right you can delete them and whatnot yeah or you could oh. use miscraft books okay which i like doing yeah yeah i like miscraft I too because i haven't really played around with it so i want to try it out <laughs>